Hello, my fellow today Saints, Kenzie Retro here. It's been a while since you've seen my face on here, but uh, nevertheless. Um, so yeah, here with the channel update. It's been a while since I've done one of these. But you'll have noticed over the last four weeks that I was streaming my platinum run of Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, Friday night into Saturday morning, I got the platinum, that's seven platinums on my tally. I've noticed every year since I got my PlayStation, I've, always, I've managed to get a platinum trophy in at least one game throughout the year. Tabletop Racing World Tour, the Crash Ensign Trilogy, last year Lego Incredibles, and now this year Kingdom Hearts 3. So that begs the question now, what am I going to be doing on my channel now that I've finished my Kingdom Hearts 3 playthrough? Well, wonder no more. Because over the course of the next few weeks, I'm going to be slowly reintroducing my regular videos on my channel. My Music Mondays, my Two for Tuesdays, um, my reactions, my reviews. I'm tempted. I'm going to get Throwback Thursday back up and running soon. I just don't know when. Because I've, I've had a request from someone. To, to play a game for Throwback Thursdays. Friday my, being my podcast. Saturday, Tom and Jerry. And then Sunday, Formula One. So, as it stands, I don't know how long it's going to take for, for me to get my regular, to get all my regular videos back up and running, but rest assured, your favourite series, they're all coming back, don't worry, it's just right now I don't have the time to be able to get them all back in one week. As far as the Battle of the Free games, which I normally report on at either the beginning or the end of the month between Xbox and PlayStation on my podcast. I normally, I say that's when I normally who say who has the best free games throughout say, the year, throughout the month. Microsoft can't be caught at this point. They can't be caught because they've got games like Forza Motorsport Six as one of their free games. Now, don't get me wrong, PlayStation 4, they've got Batman Arkham Knight. But, again, Xbox have the better lineup, in my opinion. So, So yeah, I'm just back today from the ULT games at the ULT CrossFit gym that I go to. Um, I won't be post. I won't be posting anything, anything new on my channel until at least tomorrow. But. The biggest highlight for me from the ULT games today was the fact that I am um, the last workout was a time cap one. It's the first time in competition that I've managed to complete a workout within the time cap. To say I was 
a bit emotional, it's a bit of an understatement. Couldn't be proud of myself. So I've already said it in a group post that I put up on the ULT group Facebook page. The coaches for helping me on my journey, getting the right technique for a lot of the movements, especially the gymnastics movements. The gymnastics for me, well, mind you, for a lot of the ULT guys, they have, the ULT, the, a lot of the ULT guys, especially those on the Dynamic Athlete Program, the gymnastics is always, always tends to be the toughest one because you, you need a lot of core strength for that. Despite that, they've really helped me in my journey so far. The fellow athletes that I've trained and competed with, those that I competed with today, those that I've trained with over the over my first year at ULT, and then, of course, the rest of the ULT community. I'll put it this way, guys. The energy from the crowd at, a CrossFit, at the CrossFit competition it's on another level compared to the energy from the crowds at the athletics competitions that I've taken part in. There was over 200 people that day. Uh, there was over 200 people today. And I've, and I've literally just got a comment on there, the post that I mentioned. I literally just got a comment saying, well done, for, saying, well done, Frizzy. You, you look like you put your all into that today with a trophy emoji. People congratulate me as well. Definitely one of the best decisions I've made over the last year, taking up CrossFit. It's, com it's a completely different ball game from athletics. And that's despite my mental health issues uh, getting the better of me again. Over the last week especially, my anxiety has just been through the roof. Still having nightmares about Manchester. One spell of nightmares on Tuesday night. It, the nightmares were so bad, so intense, that when I woke up, I felt like I couldn't breathe. The nightmares weren't as bad the following night, but I didn't get to sleep till 4, 5 a.m. because of how intense, because of how intense the nightmares were the night before. It has been a tough week, but for me, the ULT Games are my personal accomplishments today. Definitely, definitely the boost that I've needed. My road, but my road to recovery, still a long way to go. So yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. And um, well, like I said, don't expect it. Don't expect any new content on my channel until at least tomorrow. Uh, I started streaming the. I started streaming Gears Five. On Friday. Because I've got the Ultimate Edition thanks to Game Pass Ultimate. So, I'll see you guys again soon. I just realised. I just realised something I forgot to mention. Um, the big question. Uh, the big question now is now that I've done my first ULT games. That's only my second CrossFit competition, by the way, folks. How am I going to be celebrating tonight? 
I'm going to be celebrating with a little bit of the bubbly. <laughs> See you later, folks.